And now, 2K Sports brings you Thursday night in the NBA. And this is Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Barry. Allie LaForce, our reporter tonight. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Miami Heat. On Saturday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Indiana, going up against the Pacers. And then on Monday, they go back home and will be hosting the Orlando Magic. And we have a minute to catch up with our reporter. What do you have for us, Allie? B.A., we've seen smaller market teams unhappy with how the buyout system has played out as of late. Agents using their leverage to get their clients to a more glamorous situation. Is it truly shifting the balance of power? That's subject to debate, guys. But these concerns aren't going away anytime soon. Well, we'll see what comes of it, Allie. Thank you. should teams wait before worrying about their record? Well, it's simple, B.A. If you have a bad record, you should always be worried. <laughs> but most GMs don't think about making changes until about the halfway mark. Here's the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. The foundation of this team, Middleton and Giannis, the three and the four. Holiday and DiVincenzo man the backcourt. And it's Lopez in its center filling out the middle. And for Miami, inside it's out of bio with Tucker playing the four. Victor Oladipo is out there with Kyle Lowry. And it's Butler in at the three slot. It'll be the Heat off the tip. Here's Lowry. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. against Lowry here's Tucker uses the glass to finish the layup and setting the tempo with an assertive move like where was the defense on that play yeah APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is inexcusable now here's Holiday back to Anadokounmpo off the left rim and out yeah, that miss might stick with him for a little while. That's kind of a shoot-around jumper if I've ever seen one. A title-winning point guard. Kyle Lowry making the right choice there. Outside, DiVincenzo. Had about a minute gone in the first quarter. Over Oladipo. DiVincenzo can't hit. Goes up from the top of the key. And there's Butler. That one's good on the assist by Oladipo. Bit of a picture-perfect start here to this game. They've connected on all three looks. And here is Kumpo. We saw him with 29 points in his last game. The ball's knocked loose. Oh, it's stolen by Oladipo. Butler on the wing. Jacks up a three. Sinks it from distance. Butler's got five points. I just love the ball movement. He loved the playmaking of Jimmy Butler. He has the ball in his hands so much that guys don't relax when he's got it. They move around, give him options. DiVincenzo finds Ana Kumpo. Looking to end the run. He can't hit that time. And Miami the other way now. Here's Butler. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. You know what, Butler, we saw his playmaking in the 2020 Finals. Brent, he led the Heat in assist for the series. Yeah, I think guys fed off of his energy and knew that other teams were trying to shut down Jimmy, make sure offensively he wasn't going to get going. So he showed that other facet of his game as a playmaker. Yeah, and all the Greek gods can't be perfect, right, B.A.? I mean, Giannis, one of the few weaknesses in his game is getting to the free throw line and not. And that one falls for Ana Kumpo. You know, with Giannis and his free throws, Brent, it hurts his team in late game situations. Well, it does. It's something that he knows, he recognizes it, and he continues to work on it. And I think that that's the, the first 
part for Giannis in, in getting better, recognizing the problem. And so Anadokounmpo nails both of them. And a huge sigh of relief for Bucks fans last year. Giannis signing a monster contract extension. He'll continue to be the franchise for years to come. Now here's Oladipo. Pass to Butler. Outside Tucker. Beyond the arc. Milwaukee with the rebound. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Back to DiVincenzo. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo, and that one goes in. And you know, Grant, many wondered if Giannis would test free agency, ultimately avoided all that drama. Yeah, I mean, he wanted to stay and build a winner with the Bucks, And you know what? He did just that, bringing home the NBA championship. What a reward for the fans in the city of Milwaukee, and just tremendous character from Giannis. The Bucks trail. Back to Holiday. The three ball. And the box hit again from deep. Now Drew Holiday can make enough threes to make your defense nervous. The Heat have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Pass to Butler. Puts up a three. The shot misses. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Outside, DiVincenzo. Now here's Middleton. Takes the three. Up again. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That's a battle down there. It's, it's one of the reasons Lopez has been in this league for over a decade. Solid effort. Miami calls timeout. Go through the career statistics of Brooke Lopez and the fact that he's been able to get to this three-point volume. It's just astounding. And let's use this time to have a look at last year's steals leader, Jimmy Butler on top. And of course, Drew Holiday. These two struck fear into their opponents last year. Able to force so many steals, they're a problem for opposing offenses. Butler against Middleton. A shot by Butler, no good. Brent with Lopez in his three. He was one of many centers to add that. Well, he knew that if he was going to stay in the league, B.A., he had to be a, a weapon out there. And it's not just the makes it's just the fact that he'll take as many as he does and man is he proven that he can make the big ones Lowry outside a shot to stop the run he buries it from three well Lowry can just pepper you with shots from the arc he's got a talent for finding and making those looks DiVincenzo with it picked up by Lowry Oladipo against Middleton. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Antetokounmpo has got five rebounds tonight. Holiday passes to Antetokounmpo. And the shot's good. Antetokounmpo's got six. As Giannis has grown in his physical stature, widening those shoulders, having more strength, these are the kind of plays that make all that hard work pay off. Now here's Oladipo. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Well, one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Middleton passes to Holiday. Baseline jumper. That shot off the mark. Hey, Tucker with the defensive effort. Here's Lowry. Rebound, Milwaukee. They come into this one following a loss to Brooklyn. And they got to the line at a good clip, but couldn't cash in, and it ruined their chances. Yeah, drawing fouls is tough, but the important part about that is when you get to the free throw line, you've got to turn those into points, and it might have cost them in that last ball game missing all those chippies. And slammed it home, and a foul! A chance at another point at the line. They'll pin that on Chris Middleton. Bam out of bio making another leap in everything that he does. Rebound, scoring, playmaking. Guy is a talent.
And that one drops. So now they lead by one. And without a bio, he's become a legitimate star in the NBA, Brent. Well, he's not just a post player. You say he plays the post, but the passing ability, his defensive ability, his offensive rebounding ability, there's a lot in that package that Bam Adebayo brings. And it's Middleton. That time on the assist from Anadokounmpo. Well, at 235 pounds, Middleton is hard to throw off balance, so he can take that contact and still finish through. The Heat have got 6 of 14 in so far. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. You know, the question is, do you leave him in? A third foul this early could spell trouble. And the Heat with some changes. Deadman's checked in for Tucker. And it's Hero in for Oladipo. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Hill, he's checked in for Drew Holiday. Butler, good. This is feeling a little bit too easy right now for Jimmy Butler out there. Milwaukee has gone two of three from three-point land so far. Tipped away. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. Pass to Adebayo. Fires the three. Called in by DiVincenzo. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. And here's Lopez. Back to DiVincenzo. Counted from distance. DiVincenzo's got his second bucket of the night. They keep capturing the lead, then giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Now here's Butler. He has seven. And he's going for the lob. Throw it down on the lob. And that's Jimmy Butler with a great finish there. Good hands to catch the pass and throw it through. Hill against Lowry. Down low. Here's oh, that is showing up oh, again oh, later. Oh, wow. I think Giannis loves that kind of stuff right there. His dunks sometimes get vicious. Miami trailing. Lowry outside. It's deflected. They recover it. Yep, that one's good. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. The Bucks have gone 8 for 14 from the floor. Outside, Hill. Pass to DiVincenzo. And another three for Milwaukee. He's three or four now, looking real confident out the gate. Well, the Heat's shooting about 47. Now here's Lowry. Adebayo's double. Here's Deadman. It doesn't go for him. Great D that time from Middleton. To the inside, Lopez. And it's Lopez with the jam. Well, Giannis knows he's a magnet for the defense, and that time just got off the ball. Lowry with it. Outside Butler. From outside the arc. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got his fourth assist with that last one. Milwaukee in the lead. Now Hill. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. On to Kumpo. Bam. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. in for Butler and it's the heat with the ball four point game pass to Deadman knocked away Portis with the steal and the Bucks pushing it up now here's on it Kumpo and count it now five for seven uh, I don't know two strides three strides what was that Giannis covering some ground Hill against Lowry now Hero. Oh, 
Six on the shot clock. Goes up on the wing. Can't get it to drop. And Milwaukee the other way now. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Pass to Nora. Portis with it. Guarded by Morris. The putback. It's good on the putback. And now an eight-point Milwaukee lead. He's putting on a show this quarter, and the team's feeding off his energy. Morris passes to Hero. One fifty-two left in the first quarter. Now here's Lowry. From down in the low post, it goes. Lowry's got five points. Incredible control there from Lowry. Superb at keeping his composure even when things get physical. That's good from Allen on the assist by Hill. Hill's got four assists now tonight. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Pass to Deadman. Hero outside. We've got 113 left now in the first quarter. Here's Deadman. Allen defending. It's Hero on the take. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And with Tyler Hero, he's shown he can score. He has a skill set to get consistent points and knows how to find his spots on the floor. And Hero is solid without the ball as well. Great movement. Yeah, I mean, he's still improving in that area, but his backdoor cuts are getting better. He really knows how to get easy scores that way. Just needs to learn to not settle for those off-balance shots. The first one falls. The Orlando bubble was so good to Tyler Hero. He's still trying to find a little bit of that confidence that he gained there. falls so he hits both of them and Brent since that moment Hero has cemented himself as part of the core of this team yeah I don't think Tyler wants to get too far ahead of himself B.A. if he really enjoyed that success but the consistency is something that he's after now here's Portis he's coming off a 10-point game against Brooklyn and he didn't just put up big points he beat everyone to the boards pass to Robinson Back to Hero. Morris down low. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. That one's off. Good on the second one. We've got 33 seconds left in the first. Hill against Lowry. Pass to Allen. Fires for three. And it's Miami with a rebound. No question who's in control of the board so far. Lowry against Hill. Lowry, the pass to Morris. Hero for three. And he can't get that one. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. Bucks ahead. They're up by eight. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment.
And the Bucs have been a powerhouse for some time now. Dante DiVincenzo says teams are hungry to knock them off. Everybody gets up to play us. Guys bring energy to play against us. Guys bring energy to play against Giannis and Chris. And we have to match that energy. We have to match that competitiveness. And we have to go out there and compete at a high level every single night. And Grant DiVincenzo would know about playing with energy. Yes, he would. I mean, he'd know about dominant teams, too. State titles in high school and two national titles at Villanova. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Well, guys, they are dialed in from long range already. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove out there. I'm loving the ping pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. We've got Kyle Lowry, Markeith Morris out there with P.J. Tucker. Then it's Duncan Robinson, and it's Struess in at the two-guard spot. So that's who Miami starts the second with. Well, you hear about the importance of confidence. You think that was something you always had as a player, Grant, or did you have to build that up? Well, I mean, success ultimately does breed confidence. And I had success, fortunately, at a young age. So you have to understand you have to always attack and you always have to believe in yourself no matter what the situation. And he drops the first. And the Heat making a change here. Oladipo's checked in. And both free throws good for Robinson. Milwaukee's got five of seven threes to drop here tonight. Hill against Oladipo. The three is up. Nora, no good. Miami trailing. Robinson finds Oladipo. The shot's good. Good job by Victor on that one. Scoring despite getting whacked. I love how he maintained his balance on that shot. And for the Bucks, they're shooting at around 60% on this one. Very efficient. Hill, the pass to Allen. Pass to Nora. Five to shoot. Here's Allen from deep three-point range. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Drew Holiday's checked in for Hill. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Pass to Morris. Outside Robinson. And here's Oladipo. And it's all from three-point range. Here's Holiday. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Brooklyn. It felt like in that game, too, he was a man on a mission defensively. Finishing up with four steals is an impressive feat. And you could tell, takes pride in that part of the game. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. This Bucks team is arguably the most talented in franchise history. At the same time, the East has gotten tougher, so the Bucks are looking to improvise. Giannis said, quote, we're getting better, trying new things, changing our schemes. That's something we think is going to help us. Brian? Using the regular season to experiment, Alan. Interesting. Thank you. Here's Connaughton. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Portis outside. This one for three. Connaughton can't hit. The Heat have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Here's Struess. Off target from outside. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. 
to the paint. Oh, it's stolen by Tucker. And here's Oladipo. It's hauled in by Portis. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Pass to Nora. Here's Connaughton. Now here's Holiday. Five on the clock. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. Robinson passes to Oladipo. It's stolen by Holiday. Here we go. Good work defensively by Oladipo. Miami shooting about 41%. Here's Struess. He's covered by Holiday. Pass to Morris. Outside Robinson. And that comes off the assist by Morris. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Here's Connaughton. Now here's Allen. Out left to the wing. Portis for three. Pure from three-point range. Portis has got his second basket on the night. And remember when big men shooting threes were as rare as a Sasquatch. Now those big guys are everywhere. The Heat have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Left side, Tucker. Pass to Morris. Sinks that one from the post. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And known for his fashion sense as well. Tucker especially proud of his shoe collection. I mean, Tucker brought 100 pairs of sneakers to the bubble in Orlando. He has around 5,000 pairs overall. Even unveiled a sneaker loft because he has shoes all over his house. A different look for Miami. Bam, Adebayo comes in for Morris. And Jimmy Butler is subbed in for Struess. Outside Holiday. It's Middleton on the wing. Pass to DiVincenzo. Here's Portis. It's hauled in by Robinson. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Now Tucker. Just four to shoot. The shot by Oladipo. No good. Robinson against DiVincenzo. Outside Holiday. Portis down low. Robinson defending. And it's Portis. That time on the assist from Holiday. It's an experienced decision by Holiday to fire that pass to the open man. The Heat have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Oladipo, the pass to Butler. Back to Oladipo. That one no good. Good work defensively by Lopez. Middleton with it. Guarded by Adebayo. Pass to Holiday. Launches it. And so far in this one, two for four. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Oladipo with the ball. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Adebayo, that's good. Adebayo's got seven. And maybe that's why he's nicknamed Bam. Taking contact. Bam, bam. Milwaukee has gone two of five from deep here in the second. Holiday against Butler. Over to the left wing. And here's Lopez from the arc. And it's Miami with a rebound. We're off to battle the Pacers after this one. And they'll be playing at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. Now here's Oladipo. Outside Butler. The three. No good there. And Milwaukee the other way now. 
Now Holiday. Butler with a steal. Here's Tucker. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Now just a five-point Milwaukee lead. Smart play by Jimmy Butler. Spots the open man. Tack up an assist. DiVincenzo with it. He's against Tucker. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. The long-distance three is buried. He's got five. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Milwaukee has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. On the wing, Holiday. He's guarded by Oladipo. And it's out of bounds to the Bucks as Milwaukee retains possession. And the Heat with some changes. Deadman's checked in for Tucker. Hero comes in for Robinson. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Oladipo. Anacumpo's checked in for the Bucks. Hill comes in for Holiday. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. Some solid defense from Butler. The rebound by the Bucks. Anacumpo's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Middleton, right side. Excellent D there from Hero. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. Lowry, the pass to Butler. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got assist number five here tonight. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Now here's Hill. He's coming off a 10-point game against Brooklyn. Pass to DiVincenzo. The three is up. Fires in the triple. DiVincenzo's got 12 points in the game. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Miami's gone only one of five from beyond the three-point line in the second quarter. And George Hill picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Butler against Middleton. Pass to Deadman. Now here's Lowry. Well, Hill is using his size and speed now on the defensive end, and that's bothering the shooter. Shooting threes hasn't done them much good. They may want to revise their strategy. Now here's Lopez. No good on the shot. And the foul on Brooke Lopez. That's his first foul. Miami trailing. Hill with the steal. Defensively, you always want to keep vision on the ball. Nice job tracking and coming away with it. Anacumpo is doubled. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Milwaukee with the ball. Lopez passes to Hill. To the middle. Here's Anadokounmpo, and the jam by Anadokounmpo. You know, sometimes as an analyst, you love to talk about strategies to slow down a guy who's got it going. With Giannis, I don't, I don't really have anything. Now here's Hero. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And that one's good. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Anacumpo outside. It's Middleton on the wing. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It goes on Bam out of bio. Middleton, a, a good scorer, and good scorers can use the pump fake to their advantage. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. 
First free throw is good. Think about Middleton's improvement in this league. A lot of people not knowing where he came from or how his game has evolved and they've seen it over the past couple of seasons. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. You know with Middleton he's always adding a wrinkle to his game it seems Brent. I feel like B.A. he's understood the physicality of the game a little better in the past couple of years and now has extreme confidence in where it is he can get his offense going. I'll tell you what they've been aggressive and they've been physical. Here's Hanna de Kumpo and you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three point play doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead and now he's helped them keep it. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. The perennial MVP candidate continues to thrive. And it's Giannis's work ethic that has separated him from most. Now here's Lowry. He's got five. Hero for three. Giannis with the rebound. And here are the Bucks now. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Nice shot by DiVincenzo. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Lowry, the pass to Butler. And he lobs it up. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. In transition. DiVincenzo with it. Hero picks him up. On to Kumpo. Bam. Ah, Kumpo has got 21 points in the game. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Butler against Middleton. Left side, Butler. Up top, Hero. There's the triple. Knocks down the triple. Hero's got five points now this quarter. Well, the catch and shoot is where Tyler Hero excels. And so that's the end of the first half. Bucks ahead, leading by 14. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It was a big-time first quarter for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 21 points, 3 assists, and 10 rebounds. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? They were in such a groove that entire first half, especially on the offensive end. Good play calling, good execution. And by and large, they take good, not good, great shots. And over to Shaq, what do you think about Miami? Well, with the way they struggled to defend the three-point line, it started to look like warm-up drills because I'd be afraid to bring more defenders out high. they got to make life tougher on those outside shooters. Gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. And just halfway through this contest, he's already registered a double double. Yeah, guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet. He's doing it here. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Kicking off the second half, here's Mike Budenholzer's five. 
Giannis plays the four with Lopez in the middle. DiVincenzo and Middleton make up the perimeter. And it's Holiday in at point guard. Ooh, had a nice open look right there. Middleton's got ten points in the game. And that kind of consistency from Middleton from three, that's huge. And for the Heat, they're shooting at about 44% so far. And there's the lob. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Inside. And stolen by Adebayo. Here's Lowry. The three. And so the ball out of bounds. Anadokounmpo touched it last. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Get open, get open. Holiday against Lowry. Pass to Butler from behind the arc. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lowry's got six assists in the game. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Drew Holiday signed a four-year, $134 million extension to remain in Milwaukee. His coach, Mike Budenholzer, said, you can't appreciate the strength and the physicality he brings until you see it night in and night out. What he does defensively, once you're around it, it's even more impressive. Guys? All right, good stuff there, Ali using his post moves to get the two points. Butler's got 19 points. Defense had the right idea there, but maybe not enough time in the weight room. Butler right through that. Pass to Antetokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Oladipo outside. And here's Butler. Lowry outside. Oladipo with the ball. The offensive rebound. Tucker can't get it to fall. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Here's Middleton. Miami grabs the miss. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul so far. The Heat have gone 2 of 5 in this third quarter. Lowry finds Oladipo. Back to Lowry. Butler against Middleton. And here's Lowry. Five points in the game. And Giannis Antetokounmpo picks up that foul. That's his first foul of the game. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Oladipo against Lopez. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. The former number two overall pick in 2013, Oladipo gives you production, but he also plays with a bit of an edge. And no doubt, when he's rolling, Oladipo strikes fear in the hearts of the opponents. Yeah, B.A., I mean, he's merciless on the tack. He plays with so much heart and passion. Not much fun to play against, but he's exciting to watch. Shooting two. First one falls for him. In the 2013 draft, Victor Oladipo out of Indiana becomes the second overall pick. And he broke out in his first season with the Pacers. Nice to see him come back from this injury and start to make an impact. And Oladipo drops them both. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Outside Holiday. Pass to DiVincenzo. Now here's Lopez. Counted by Adebayo. All by himself. Here's Tucker. Goes back up. Basket is good with the setup from Oladipo. Tucker's got nine points. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. 
to Lopez. 4-3. Connects from downtown. He has seven. Well, no hesitation whatsoever from Brooke Lopez at that range. Back to Lowry. Outside Butler. Three-pointer. Adetokounmpo grabs the board. Adetokounmpo has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Holiday passes to Adetokounmpo. Adetokounmpo is doubled. Adebayo with it. And Lopez picks him up. Out to Lowry. Takes a three. Knocks down the long K. The offense just opens up if your playmaker comes from that four or five spot. And Bam does such a great job of it. Time called here. The Bucks decide to talk it over. A different look for Miami. Morris, he's checked in for Tucker. And it's Robinson in for Oladipo. And a new group getting ready for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Nora comes in for Anadokounmpo. Connaughton, he's checked in for Middleton. And it's Allen in for DiVincenzo. Now here's Portis. Give him eight. Clock at six. Holiday passes to Portis. Fast break. Here come the Heat. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Allen's gotten his second bucket on the night. Well, an outstanding floor general right there. Holiday has switched between point guard and off guard and a great feel for when guys are open. Now here's Butler. He's got 19. Chalk up two there. Butler's got seven points for the quarter. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Pass to Connaughton. Here's Portis. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Portis has got 10. And he's going to nail these if you give him the space. That's just soft D. Well, defense also looking defeated. The lack of hustle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty right now. And here's Butler outside. Butler can't get that one to fall. Milwaukee's gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Outside Holiday. Pass to Connaughton. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Struess, he's checked in for Miami. The Heat have gotten 5 of 12 shots to drop in the third. Holiday against Lowry. Let's a floater go. Good. 10 points for him. A bulky, quick-footed guard. I love when Lowry takes initiative and dives inside. Pass to Connaughton. Now here's Allen. He's got five. Let's go with a three. And another three for Milwaukee and the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter Lowry with it 10 points for him Adebayo passes to Robinson and no good and Milwaukee the other way now 17 points was their biggest margin and right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Now here's Allen. Outside Holiday. Just five to shoot. Up and over Lowry. The shot by Holiday, no good. The Heat have gotten six of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. Floats one. Robinson gets the bucket. Robinson's got six. When a player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard him and where your point of commitment is. Connaughton. That three off target. Had some space there after the pump fake. Miami has gone two for five from three since halftime. Adebayo passes to Morris. Back to Adebayo. Now here's Lowry. Pass to Robinson. 
The Heat need to get one up in a hurry. Here's the three. Struess's shot is off. Milwaukee has gotten four threes to fall out of five attempts here in the third. Here's Connaughton. And yep, it's good. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. For Miami, they've gotten seven of 16 shots to go so far in the third quarter. And he's going for the oop here. A oh, nice shot by Morris. Morris has got his second basket. They have no answer defensively inside. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Well, they've been turning that ball over way too much, and they really need to address this if they want to win this game. Huddle up, boys. Hero, he's checked in for Robinson. Hill, he's checked in for the Bucks. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambled. Now here's Hill looking for his first basket still in this one. And again, it's the Bucks missing. Lowry, the pass to Hero. Drives to the hoop, and he banks in the layup. Hero's got his third bucket of the night. In the flash, Tyler Hero makes his way to the inside. Nice use of his athleticism. The buck shooting has been great at 58% on the third. Now here's Hill. And Hero grabs the board. Well, the Heat's shooting the rock well at 46%. And Lowry with the bucket on the assist by Hero. Lowry's got seven points for the quarter. A good job by Tyler just finding the open teammate and showing some good awareness. Here's Portis. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got his seventh rebound here tonight. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Bucks? They've made the long-range shot look like a layup at times in this one. Another thing they've done well tonight is to share the basketball. So many of their buckets have just been off crisp offensive sets, setting up their shooters. Deadman's checked in for Morris. And both free throws good for Adebayo. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. Milwaukee in the lead. Pass to Connaughton. Now Allen. He's got five. Now Hill. From deep. It's hauled in by the Heat. Adebayo's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Tipped. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. Went over and back. And the Heat making a change here. Tucker's checked in. Allen against Hero. Out to the right wing. Hill for three. He drops it from range. Hill's got his first three points of the game. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Now here's Hero. Nine points in the game. To the left side wing. Here's Lowry. Oh, another basket for him. He's 6 of 11 now. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And Kyle Lowry had a ton of suitors in free agency. And many teams felt he could be the player to put them over the top. But ultimately, he chose the Heat because they had recently gone to the finals. And I'll tell you what, it seems like a great fit overall. And good whistle there.
free throw good from Allen. Victor Oladipo has checked in for Miami. That one's no good. Miami trailing. Hero outside. Pass to Oladipo. Lowry with it from the arc. Kept alive. Hero outside. Now Oladipo. Shot clock at six. No luck. They battled on the glass, but they couldn't knock it down. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. And George Hill picks up the foul. So that'll be a second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. He's such a good free throw shooter. You don't want to foul him unless it's absolutely necessary. Well, it's hard to talk about Lowry without mentioning his fantastic defense. Quick and physical with ball handlers. Tough to back down in the post and just brings the effort on every play. And the Bucks making a change here. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. Giannis Antetokounmpo comes in for Nora. Middleton has checked in for Connaughton. And it's DiVincenzo in for Allen. Now here's Antetokounmpo. 23 points in the game. To the paint. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Antetokounmpo's gotten four this quarter. And that's some determination there from Antetokounmpo. Able to bully his way through the defenders multiple that time while shooting the ball. Pass to Deadman. Back to Lowry. For three. It's not going to go for him. And the Bucks shooting 54% from the field so far in this one. Hill the pass to Anadokounmpo. Back to Hill. Fires the three. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. A three points is better than two. They built this lead by tacking on that extra point at the end of possessions. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. And sometimes that's what can separate some of the best players, not just creating for yourself, but creating for others as well. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Well, the Heat's shooting 46%, a decent average so far. Kyle Lowry out there with Victor Oladipo. Then there's Tyler Hero. Then it's Dwayne Dedman. And it's Tucker in a power forward. That's the group on the floor for Miami. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding. Stolen by Lowry. Here they come with numbers in transition. Stymied by Middleton. Well, the long arms of Middleton getting up there on defense and throwing that one away. Butler's checked in for Lowry. Hero outside. Pass to Oladipo. Shot clock at five. There's the three. Again, the heat misses. Well, he's using the force, but in the worst way possible right now. He just needs to dial it back and look to work the ball around the floor to his teammates. Stolen by Hero. The shot by Oladipo, no good. DiVincenzo finds Lopez, fires from deep. It's hauled in by the Heat. Tucker's got four rebounds in the game. The Heat have got none of their shots to go in this final quarter. 0 for 4. Butler on the wing. Plenty of space. Basket is good with the setup from Oladipo. 
Oladipo's got five assists tonight. Offense has been hard to come by so far. A much-needed bucket right there. Yeah, the buckets have been few and neither team able to get into any sort of offensive rhythm. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Mike Budenholzer said to the team. And he implored them to be patient at the offensive end. He wants to use every second of the shot clock. He said, quote, if we take care of the ball and take our time and play D, this game is ours. Appreciate the report, Allie. Butler on the wing. Let's the three fly. Drops in the three. Butler's got 12 points in just the second half. He's hit a pair of threes each half, making a significant impact. Outside, DiVincenzo over Butler. It's rebounded by Dedman. The Heat have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Oladipo up top, checked by Hill. Rejected by Anadokounmpo. Great defense by Giannis, using his length that time, and that shot had no chance. Holiday's checked in for the Bucks. Pass to Tucker. Rebounded by the Bucks. 17 points was their biggest margin. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Here's Lopez. Tries again. It's rebounded by Deadman. Deadman's got six rebounds here tonight. Oladipo against Holiday. Outside Tucker. Three pointer. And again, the Heat missing. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. DiVincenzo finds Holiday. And Dante DiVincenzo is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Hero outside. Pass to Butler. Oladipo against Anadokounmpo. Looking to get back on track. Anadokounmpo knocks it away. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. And adds a few more points to their lead, showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Hero outside. Butler against Middleton. Pass to Oladipo. Launches a three. Giannis Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Anadokounmpo's got his 16th rebound on the night. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. And Chris Middleton, a great three-point shooter. But he's got a deadly mid-range game as well, Grant. Middleton is just flat out a shooter. Can pull up from anywhere on the floor. If you give him the mid-range, he'll take it and punish you. The Heat making a switch here. Adebayo's checked in. And here are the Heat now. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Outside Butler. Rebound, Milwaukee. Lopez has got his sixth rebound on the night. Anadokounmpo outside. It's Middleton on the wing. No good with the triple. Miami has gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Hero outside. Goes up. Again, the Heat misses. Can't blame him. Just trying to take what the defense allows. DiVincenzo with it. Hero picks him up. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. And DiVincenzo with a head of steam. Man, he got up. And so here is Miami trailing by 10. They need something good to happen here. 
Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Well, that equals his three point total from the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. Now, here's Holiday. Nice shot by DiVincenzo. And DiVincenzo growing in his confidence as he works on his jumper in the offseason. It's showing up here. Miami has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. That's tipped. And that's out of bounds. Miami will keep it. Hero for three. And again, Miami with a triple. A tale of two halves. After a slow start, he's turning his offense around. Now here's Anadokounmpo. Checked by Tucker. And Giannis Anadokounmpo picks up that foul. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, a fourth turnover there. That's just a, a rough, sloppy game. Oladipo against Holiday. Outside Butler. Down low. Here's Adebayo. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Bam's size along with his athleticism. That could be a big problem on the interior. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Hard to tell coming out of college what it was that Bam Adebayo was going to hang his hat on offensively. But for sure, you knew relentless effort was going to be part of his game. The Bucs have gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Holiday passes to Anacumpo. Outside, DiVincenzo. And a great assist by Anacumpo. And that one goes in. Anacumpo has got six assists now in the game. Here's Hero. Oladipo outside. And here's Butler outside. Giannis Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Anadokounmpo's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Pass to Holiday. No good. Ooh, some solid defense from Oladipo. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Lowry, he's checked in for Miami. Miami's gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by Lopez. Lopez has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. On to Kumpo for three. Not going to go that time. And Miami will go the other way with it. Lowry outside. He shoots it. And again, the heat missing. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. This is what he gives you night in and night out. Stellar production at the offensive end. Miami trailing. And here's Lowry. Here's Butler. The layup misses. Middleton outside, on to the Kumpo. And Giannis throws it down. Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. And Miami has possession. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. And here's Butler outside. The rebound by the Bucks. DiVincenzo with it. Picked up by Tucker. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. Oh, they get a hand on it. Stolen by Hero. Pass 
to Lowry. Here's Tucker. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Oh, wow, guys, this does not look good. We've got an injury here. And you guys know that this is something every player worries about, no matter your age or your ability. Yep, you can do all the stretching and all the strength training, eat right, train right, but at the end of the day, it's pretty random. The Bucks making a switch here. Portis has checked in. Now here's Holiday. Outside, DiVincenzo. Pass to Middleton. A little mid-range shot is up. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Heat shooting 40% from the field in this one. Here's Adebayo. Lays it up and banks it in. Just a lot of force coming from Bam. That time he takes the hit and is still focused enough to score. Middleton passes to Lopez. Back to Middleton from downtown. Sends it home from three-point land. Middleton's got five points in the quarter. Well, he just nailed his second three of the half, guys. I'd be very aware of that if I were the defense right now. And the Heat shooting 27% here in the fourth. Hero outside. Pass to Adebayo. Butler with the ball. And Lopez picks him up. It's good. Well, Bam Adebayo is so efficient right there. He picks a smart shot that fits his skill set. Butler against Middleton. And it's Middleton finishing it off. A monster finish with authority. And he hangs on the rim for a little extra spice. Middleton's got six for 14 now. Pass to Hero. Let's the three fly. Rebounded by the Bucks. Portis has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Middleton against Butler. Middleton outside. Butler with a steal. Fast break. Here come the Heat. And rejected. Holiday with the ball. Pass to Middleton. Over Butler. And it's Miami with a rebound. Tucker's got rebound number seven tonight. Outside Butler. Banked it in off the glass. Butler's got 14 points here in the second half. That is a tough two right there from Butler. Really is calling for rugged play and 100% effort. Now here's DiVincenzo. Hits the trifecta. Exactly what every offense needs. Shooters who can force the defense to extend. Well, oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. They can take their time if they want. Yes, you have to regroup. Make sure you get a good shot. One twenty-four left in the final quarter. Six to shoot. Portis, the pass to Holiday. Over Hero. Misses off the left iron. Heat shooting around 41%. Pass to Adebayo. And here's Butler. Throws it up high. Out of bounds. It'll be Bucks ball. Now I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one, errant pass. 56 seconds left in the final quarter. And the clock will wind down on this one. Just a solid effort and a good win for the Bucks. Check out their assist numbers. They didn't get stuck in isolation. They got the ball to the guys who had the best matchups. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And against a familiar opponent, it's nice to establish a psychological advantage with a win in the first game. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Uh, just a force on the glass, did a fantastic job crashing the boards and coming up with seemingly every rebound. That 
free throw good from Middleton. The versatility Middleton offers up is exceptional. A capable defender, a good scorer, an effective shooter. These are the kind of switchblade players the coaches love. And so he makes both from the line. Now Hero. Driving to the basket. Good D by Middleton. 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. To the middle. Stolen. Pass to Hero. And that one's long. And a chance to add to the lead here. Yeah, B.A., they should really stick with what they've been doing. Allen with it. Jacks up a three. Drains the triple. And they came in here with some attitude, and it brought out their best play. Yeah, looks like a veteran team tonight. Getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. And so it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement indeed, B.A. It was in enemy territory, but they controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Giannis, a tremendous performance. What enabled you to win this game so convincingly? Uh, it was a team effort. I think we came out, we did not mess around with the game. We, came, we did our job, we defended, we moved the ball. That's why we were able to uh, close the game. Giannis always recognizing the importance of his teammates. Thanks so much, Giannis. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.